Hi guys and welcome everybody to a game called That Dragon Cancer. And if you look at the main menu, all you hear is birds tripping away, frogs, a little bit of water in the background. I don't know what that is. Now this is a very emotional game about a guy, a father, who lost his son to cancer, and he made a game called That Dragon Cancer. And this one kind of hits for me right now because uh, my grandpa got cancer right now. I don't know what it is. I just, I'm not really feeling um, a very energetic mood and I'm kind of, you know, just going through the motions of life. I'm very uh, exhausted, to be honest, uh, with my work overload these past couple weeks with uh, the merch coming soon, uh, some projects I'm working on the main channel, and then over here as well. It's just been a very long weekend. I just need to feel something right now. I just need to feel it. Feel something. Pause. Nigga, you gay. Pause. Um, but yeah. Yeah, no, big pause. Hold on. <laughs> Yo, I don't think I'll ever go through a video without saying something sus unintentionally. All right, here we go. The dragon cancer. I might cry. I heard other creators cried. So. Right on the water. and maybe turn on subtitles. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. Actually, there is no subtitles. Trash. I guess we just gotta listen. Oh, oh so we get the move. Oh, it's a piece of bread. Let's eat it. Hey, thank you. Thank you, buddy. I'll take this. Oh, let me get this too. Hold on. Yo, thank ya. Oh, I'm eating good. Let me get that too. Hold on. Hey, this ain't gonna kill me, right? No, just one more pieces. We gotta make that last. We don't have that much left. Oh, you hear it like the. Whoa, well, that's a big piece. <laughs> Isaac, you gotta give him little pieces. He doesn't understand. Here you go, Joe. Here's a piece. Aww. So I think it's actually videos. Yeah. Wait. But I gotta look around. But he can't talk. It's true. Yeah. You always can talk. Yeah, no. Why can't Joel? Well, Joel got sick right after he turned one. And Slowed him down a little bit, buddy. So he's just slower than most kids. I think eventually he'll catch up. Do you think Joel will read? Yeah, I think Joel will read eventually. Oh, Isaac, of course. He's just the way. Because, you know. Yeah. Joel's uh, supposed to be a boy, but he's a baby. Okay. He's a boy baby. <laughs> yep, he's a boy baby. It's just about right. You know, there's lots of things Joel isn't good at, but there's some things he is good at. What is he good at? He's so I'm assuming... Laughing. <laughs> yeah. I'm assuming this is like real life footage from their family videos that they turned into the game. How do you make them laugh? I fall down. Yeah. That's really funny when you fall down. He's good at doing us what he loves. Yeah. <laughs> So Joel is the one with cancer, I uh, presume, and 
They literally park at the edge of the world. They, I'm sorry, I'm a little speechless. It's very beautiful so far. What does Jola? Wawa. <laughs> in cups, bathtubs. And the warm, wet tongues and the cool fur of dots. You be the sweet, was a daily affection. And bye bye. Aww. And blown kisses. And more. Ugh. Always more. This full list of words. <laughs> so few. I keep forgetting you can't move when it's only using a mouse. Very beautiful so far, I gotta be honest. I know this is gonna be a uh, an emotional ro roller coaster, to be honest. Let's go left or right. Sorry. All right. This pain without a word. What is hope without a word? For? What is hope? Who is God? What is joy? So he has two boys, three boys. I'm assuming. Let's go over here. One, two, three. I see three kids. Who am I to him? <laughs> Dada. Hmm. Interesting. Let's go see what the kids are up to. Damn, there's four kids. I don't even see you, buddy. They all look like uh, Joel. Who's there? Wait, what was that noise? Right here. Listen. Hey babe, just got done at the doctor. Um, now they think that maybe he's throwing up all the time because he has acid reflux. So they gave me a medication and we can give it to Joel. And they said we have to give it at least three full days. But that if he's still throwing up after that, then we can come back. And I mentioned the head tilt thing again, even though they keep saying it's not related, but you always have to mention that one weird outlying thing. So I told them how his head was tilted to the right, but they still say that that's probably not related at all. So I guess we'll just give this a try. And I don't know, I'll tell you more about it when we get home. All right. Or maybe they all resemble Joel, all those babies. Oh man, what is this? What's going on over here? Whoa. Oh, that's dark. That's the cancer. It's everywhere. Coming from all angles. That's dark. Very scary. Got a dead tree. Fear is cancer's preservative. Cancer's embalming oil. And you, O oh accuser, are fear's oil sales. You're a snake. A serpent. A dragon with snuffed out coal on his breath, molten, talons broken from the struggle to free yourself of your own skin. Very interesting way to look at it. Hospital. On hospital time.
Can I put glasses on? Aw. Hey, do you want to rock? Okay, let's rock. There we go. Aw. Rock it some more. Oh, the hey, father. Babe, I was just thinking, do you ever think maybe Joel can hear better than he's supposed to be able to? Because I know, like, it's supposed to be moderate to severe hearing loss, but sometimes, like today, he hears music playing before I do. So I saw him dancing, and I had to look around to hear that a song was playing. And I just don't, like, if his hearing loss is that bad, I can't imagine. I don't know. I just wonder about it. Anyway, call me later. Bye. Hmm, okay. Oh. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to press. What do I, uh, yeah. Hey, uh, can we get some help? Aw. It's now night time. that what is that are those inflated gloves back away get away get away from my precious baby get away you will not defeat my baby oh god that's a lot of them coming in the hell? I thought it was fading to a cussing. Okay. Wait, okay. So I actually need to push him away. Wait, is that a... What happened to that bed? Well, that bed was never like that. Yo, can we... Are, where are we? Are we in space? Um... Okay, I'm gonna let it fall. I'm just gonna let it fall. I think that's maybe like showing like a symbol that you can try and try and do whatever to stop cancer, but eventually it's gonna fall, right? Or something, something it's like some sort of metaphor. Oh. I knew it was inflated gloves. little uh, blinding y'all not gonna lie my eyes kind of hurt black out um he's going right into it nope okay oh all right uh pop right there and again and Again. I feel like there's a message within every, how you say it, trailer or cinematic piece. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to move. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I thought it was, um, oh, we're supposed to dodge it. And I'm out here hitting the cancer cells. Oh, I'm stupid. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. My emotions are everywhere right now. Yikes. Oops, I just hit two of them. Uh, it's very hard. So it, there is a message behind... There is a message behind this. Aw. Then no matter how hard you try... To avoid it, it's nearly impossible. Right. 
Oh, hey. Oh, what um, the? Oh, right, hey. I just wanted to take a shower. Is that okay? Are you okay with Joel? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Got you. Wait, what? What? Hey! Hey! Get your ass off him. Aw. I feel like dogs even know. Like when you're sick. Like, I've cried to my dogs plenty of times, and they've, they've <laughs> sensed it. Um, animals are like one of the purest things of joy. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Animal, yeah, bro, no bullshit. Like, animals dead have like some sort of sense where they know things aren't right. Lot of memories the dog has with this this baby. Aww. Well, you got some entertainment tonight, didn't you, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> Someone's knocking. Dogs definitely have a sense of joy. Or a sense of feels. But they do bring a very deep sense of joy. And I am forever grateful for my three little munchkins. End of treatment party. So he went through treatment. And now they're throwing a little party for it. Yo, cancer really does suck, man. And these are real life pictures. I love how the game developer added that. Oh, wait, can I see this photo? Wait, 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 wait. Go back. Go back. Oh, that's the dog. It looks like Luna. It actually looks like my dog. I'm gonna cry. Oh my God. Oh. Amy, new voicemail. 1111. Hey, I'm cleaning up eggs again. A dozen eggs on the kitchen floor again. So we have to get a new lock for the fridge. Do you. Oh, it's so, so hard to clean up eggs from the floor. Oh. Like they just spread around and they don't come clean no matter what you do. So I was just so frustrated, but you should have seen them together. They were so proud of themselves. Joel and Elijah just sitting there with their eggs. Isaac said he thinks they want to be cookers. <laughs> All right. Talk to you soon. Bye. This game is draining my emotions slowly. I wish I can look at these. That's them. Can I look at this? Entitled Sean Heron. This is Joel. Barney and Aiden. Never mind. Sorry. I thought it was Joel. August. Connor. Ramparts Deferred. Deferred by Satchel Drakes. My voicemail. 1111. Hello. Oh, sorry. Hey, honey, we're on our way home from the hospital now. So if you wanted to preheat the oven starting in about 30 minutes, that would work and we could throw in that lasagna. Um, do you know how they celebrate off treatment day? Like when kids are done with their treatments? I, I guess maybe you don't because you're not in the clinic as much as I am, but on someone's last day, they always bring them a cake and they sing happy off therapy day to you. Anyway, that happened today. I mean, 
It happens a lot, but today I cried. I just wanted that day so bad, you know? I just like, we're not ever gonna get that day. If he's better, we won't know that he's better. We don't get a day. Anyway, okay, call me if you can. Like, it's I... probably traffic, so I could talk on my way home. All right, bye. I really wanna cry right now. I actually just wanna cry. Alright, off treatment day. Aw. Steer go kart? Okay. Okay. Alright, uh. Okay, at least it's easy. Ooh, chicken. Alright, thank you. Man, they were hitting me with these tears, man. They were about to have me crying. Thank you for cheering me up. Thank you. Alright, a big fat cat. <laughs> Alright. Whoa, what did I get? What did I get? Alright, uh. All right, damn, why? <laughs> What's up with that cat, bro? <laughs> oh my god! Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, grab that! Woo! Okay. <laughs> oh, he's laughing. It's cute. It's the last lap. Uh, let's get this. And. There. Hey, radiation treatments. Lumbar punctures. Autopsies. Wait, me? Wow, that's dark. Y'all had me at collect. Oh, wow, that's dark. Wow, that's dark. They had me collecting a whole bunch of treatments. How long is it going to be before we can have some answers? Aww. Okay, is it just the doctor on call, or is this our doctor? Well, because the on-call doctor is just a resident. Is there a way we can talk to our doctor? It just seemed like yesterday in clinic they were going to let us go. I just want to know what the plan is. Who canceled the treatment? Right, isn't it dangerous for him not to get it if that's needed? Hey, Joel. Wait, what? The door closed. Um, okay. Go through there. Loading. It takes a lot of uh, turns, where it turns. The Temple of Man. Uh, all right. I'm assuming I have to walk down here as well. Except it won't let me. Oh, turn the light on. I'm always waiting for the game to do its thing. Favorite game, you want to see? Watch out, started. All right. <laughs> okay. Had you right here in the big lion camps. Big lion. You know that scary lion? It's so loud. I can roar. That's why, Kim. Yeah, hear me roar. Why? <laughs> Don't be afraid. You mm. might want to cover your ears. They was not lying. All right. All right, everybody. 
Hello, you big lion. Cheers to all of Cheers to all is my favorite. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna let the kid have his moment. All right, waking up. Math is Dewey, 12-3, 1998, 18-5, 2008. Hugs to all my UIHC kids and families. Greg Rice. Oh, we just picked that up. Get this one. To my hero, Henry M. Riley Stewart, 1979, 1983. Miss you always. Very young. So everyone who died of cancer, especially my father and grandmother, rest in peace, Hank, Marsha, and all the rest of you beautiful, beautiful people. I hope that whatever become of you, <laughs> you are presently better off than you were at the end of your life. I miss you. This Terrible routine, watching you, waiting for you to wake, hoping you will never remember these days of illness and treatment. One day, I'll bring you here, show you your tiny handprints on the wall, and you'll be annoyed that we all think of you as some big miracle. Cancer will be such a small part of all you could grow to be. Aww. You will tire of hearing about it. You won't want to see the cards and notes I saved. And I won't mind at all. I'll hold the memories of this hard day. Aww. Mm -hmm. Just leave it behind. I really hope he pulls through. All right. What, wh where'd they go? All right. Well, I do want to pick up a couple of these postcards. I'm not sure if we'll get to all of them. Antonio Martinelli. Your grandson is terribly sorry. He misses you so much. You went in your sleep after months of pain. Miss you, Grandma. In loving memory. Jan and Don Harberts. Joshua, stay strong, will man. Mommy and Daddy love you. Oh man, this is really breaking me. This is um breaking me. The father cried out. I believe help. My unbelief. Thank you for being my uncle or one people. All these postcards, man. In memory of Boyce and Madeline Hollifter, beloved parents and grandparents. Oh, they both died. Mom, I love you. I give you the Christ to see soon. To bear Dewey and Reg for all that they taught us. All right. David. 
Thank you for paving the way for a dignified approach to illness. On the 1401, you passed away from leukemia. I miss you, Dad. Happiness comes from from loving what you do. Indeed, it does. Sadie Ben, we miss and love you. Can I read a couple more? And I look forward to see you in heaven. Amanda, we love and miss you. We'll see you again. It's very deep, man. Try not to cry. Because I know it gets deeper than this. I'm sorry, guys. It's not good. Whoa. What do you mean it's not good? What? What? Spin the wheel. Glasses back. Uh, which one? Which one you want me to spin it to? Um, what does that What does that mean? I'm sorry. Give me one second. I'll figure it out. Uh, spin this. There you go. First thing in the morning, the horse checked his email. <laughs> 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 that. More? Yeah. Hold on. Are you want more? Okay, okay, I got you. Farmer Bill races the horse and Farmer Bill wins. <laughs> My shoes were untied. <laughs> Alright, let's try the cow. I got a cow, don't make no noise. <laughs> Alright, spin it again. Farmer Bill scratches the pig's chinny chin chin. <laughs> That's what you wanted? <laughs> Aww. Farmer Bill gives the pigs piggyback rides. What? <laughs> Spin on this. The cows and the horses get together for cards at night. <laughs> Spin it. Those silly ducks take a bubble bath. <laughs> Spin it again. Farmer Bill oh, separates the sheep from the goats. Sheep go to heaven. Goats go to town. That was deep. I'm sorry, guys. Oh. It's not good. Oh, God. What you mean? Rewind it. I'm sorry, guys. It's not good. Oh, man. I'm sorry, guys. It's not good. It's like no matter how many times you rewind it, the outcome will never change. I'm sorry, guys. It's not good. Okay. Wait. Click on this. And there it is. They get it now. Sometimes I wish we could just leave them waiting a few more minutes. Because once they get this news, their life never goes back to how it was before. Those were their last normal minutes. And they didn't even know it. 
I'm glad he's so good at this. He takes the losses so personally. Joel's looking good. He's been making progress, his weight is up. It's just hard to believe that we only made it halfway through chemotherapy. It, it was rough at first, but I really started to think that he was gonna make it. Any recurrence means the chemotherapy has failed. This is a tragedy. To the eyes of the doctor, With an ATRT, as soon as you have a recurrence of any kind, it is fatal. It's only a matter of time before it spreads to several locations. We've already thrown all the chemotherapy we have at it. We can't continue to give him chemotherapy that we know it's resistant to, so there just aren't any treatment options that are curative. Yes, I'm going to cry after all because they love us. And they love Joel and... We're very good at managing the pain and masking symptoms at the end of life. Oh, miracles are scary. How long are we talking about? A few weeks to maybe four months. Science, it's simpler, measurable. I give A, B, I subtract C, and I get this result, and I can do something to control it, or at least have the sense that I'm controlling it. But now all we have left is a miracle, and miracles are fickle. They don't always come, and we don't always know why. What if Joel's miracle doesn't come? I hope he lives. I've always hoped. But now I can't do anything but hope. Oh, radiation. At least we can do something. Hope doesn't require signing papers or driving to hospitals or holding Joel in my lap. Hope is for something someone else has to do for us. And when doctors can't, invisible Jesus must. We're so sorry. Oh, this sucks. Oh, God, I do not want a replacement baby. If that was your plan, I am not on board. I don't want some new baby to help me move on. I would not have chosen this. Oh, God. Joel has to live, or I will not love this baby. I'm sorry, guys. I'm out of words. It's the simple thought that it's out of your control and then you slowly watch somebody die. It's one of the saddest things ever again. is a sinking boat. I hear a boat, a big boat coming. What do I do? I can't see. 
This is definitely feeling like something. A drift. things stirring around in my spirit that I have to write to settle myself and find God's wisdom in the midst of chaos. I'm scared I won't be strong enough to face the things we might have to face in the coming weeks and months. But then I remember how much grace God gave us to walk out everything we've already faced. I've never felt completely overwhelmed and I've never felt alone. So no matter what comes next, and I truly cannot even begin to guess how this will go. I know we will be carried. I want to shout out, look what God is about to do. Watch how he delivers Joel. And at the same time, I want to roll up in a silent ball and wait it out with fear and trembling, so aware of all my doubt but yet convinced that my doubt is insignificant compared to God's faithfulness. All right. So how long will we be in California? I don't actually know. That's kind of why we're packing up everything is because if the trial works really well, then maybe we'll stay in California for a really long time. Like as long as it keeps helping Joel, then we want to stay and do the best we can for him and stay there where he's getting help. But if the medicine starts to not work as soon as it's not helping him, I promise we'll come back home. Aww. Are we going to Disneyland? Yeah, of course. What do you think, Kayla? Are you okay with leaving for so long? I'm kind of excited, but I'm kind of not. And it's like... I mean, I think it'll be fun, but... I just don't like missing school. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah the only eight-year-old to ever... <laughs> That's amazing. I hate to miss school, huh? Uh, but, like, why? Well, I just hate having all the homework that I have to do. Oh, you, you hate catching up from missing school. It's like you gotta start compromising for everybody else to fit the needs. Oh, oh her expectation is so maddening sometimes. Do you know what she wrote on the eve of Joel's first surgery? The one back in January when we first found the tumor? I seriously feel like a kid on Christmas Eve. <laughs> I'm pleading for God to spare his life. And I'm tempted to despair because self-inspection leads me to conclude I shouldn't expect much of anything. <sighs> and yet my wife is expecting a surprise party from the Lord, replete with presents and supernatural miracles. <sighs> I envy her. Oh, can you at least tell us a story? Hmm. I 
Jack and Cancer. Um, <sighs> sure. Okay. This is the story of a very brave knight named Joel. Joel the baby knight? Yes. Joel the baby knight. But he's also Joel the very brave knight. Yep. And he was being chased by a dragon named Cancer. Aw. Jump. Because of a streamer? Mm hmm. Okay. Where does the dragon live? Um. In a forest. Is the dragon big? Very big. Oh. Does the dragon breathe fire? Oh, ow. Wait. Too much fire, you guys. Wait, what do I do? Wait, what? Okay, wait, hold on. Maybe I gotta... So, Joel has armor. Like, a sword and a shield and stuff? Ooh, or maybe a spear? Am I stuck? I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm stuck, right now. Nope. Um, yep, I don't know what's going on. Okay, there we go. My game bugged out. Yeah, that sounds good. So, so brave Sir Joel with his sword and his shield and his awesome spear and his super. Wow. Sorry, I, I, I'm not. I'm not. Is being chased by a dragon named Cancer. There you go. What other superpowers does he have? Uh, he also I, has. Sorry. That's not a superpower. <laughs> it's the best superpower. Oh, there you go. Do you guys know what grace means? Yeah, it's kind of like help. Yeah, it's kind of like help. Wait. Oh, there he is. There's the hope. Boom. Nope, we're not gonna hit it. Okay. Attack that. You know, and he's not the only one who's ever tried to fight this dragon. Some very oh god. To fight this dragon in and some are able to fight the dragon. Thank you. I died. Okay. And if you quit fighting for all, then the kingdom is safe. Joel's been fighting this dragon for a long time. Ow. Sorry, it's a, this is a little oh, harder. Long. What? I, I hit it. Joel Thank found you. a nice empty cave where he could rest. And it seems like the dragon couldn't find him. Okay. But just when he thought that the danger was past, the dragon. What? Found drowning how can you sit there like that despair doesn't help anything neither does false hope and i'm not despairing how can you say false hope you're drowning well you're missing your oars and you don't even know where you're going and yet you're so sure you're gonna get there it's better than drowning Enjoy floating on the surface like you always do. There's nothing deep about drowning. Just get in the boat. You have to let me feel this. Someone has to. That's not fair. I love him as much as you do. I just really believe we're going to be okay. It's hard, man.
wait, I was gonna come chill with y'all. I'm sure my expectation looks like denial, but seeing Joel dying does not make me any less certain that he will be healed. In some ways, I feel more certain, not because the same doubts don't come to me, but because I know that they will not be entertained much longer, because this chapter is almost finished, and we will have an ending one way or the other. So the doubts and fears that make me reaffirm that even if I'm wrong, this is where I stand, become less and less powerful. Truth be told, I, I don't know where I'm swimming to. Dehydration. Huh. The sunset looks pretty from here. The orange glow cast on the wall. Better than the muted colors of this hospital. I wonder why they choose blues and greens. <laughs> they... The ones who choose the colors that heal. Green for life. Blue. Hmm. For comfort. Purple stripes to hide the stains. <laughs> huh. This chair is too small. It sticks to my skin. I hate vinyl. Oh. Hospital chairs really do suck, man. If you've never been in a hospital chair, it's like, um, how do you describe it? It's an unsettling calm of peace. Blue. Purple. <laughs> hmm. The ocean, maybe? No. Under the ocean. Silent. Warm. And salty. Like tears. He won't stop crying. I don't blame him. He feels miserable. I hate that we're here. I hate that he's sick. I just want him to feel better. I hate this room. I didn't used to. For a... Um, for a moment, it was an adventure. I was cast as the compassionate and caring father, mm. holed up with his fragile son in a small cleft in the rocks. The storm raging, waves ripping at the sharp black rocks below, and enveloped in my arms, he feels safe, and I am holding him firmly, trying not to slip. Because if you hold tight enough, nothing will take him. Right? I wish that was the case, buddy. Am I not supposed to be back here? I'm sorry, but where do I uh, press? Okay, all right. Yeah, 
Maybe all I can do is sit down? No. I don't think so. Alright, Joel, let's, um... Throw your head, buddy. Don't. <laughs> Wait, what? Why is there water leaking now? I can't even start it. Press start. I am a little trouble found at y'all. Maybe I'm not supposed to be. Nope. Funny? A bounce, a bounce, a bounce, bounce, bounce. Mm. Mm. Oh, he won't stop crying. Buddy, but you'll throw it up. No, don't grab too hard. You'll squirt all the juice out. Here, let me have it. It's so late, Joel. Lay down. I can't hold you. I can't make you feel better. Okay, buddy, okay, I'll hold you. Oh, Joel Bug, you look so miserable. No! Don't hit your head on the bars, Joel. Joel! Joel! I know you're mad. Please stop. Please. St stop. I shake, I weep, I pray, I plead, I need peace. this far. He's still here. Not dead. Not there. With you. God, I want to be here with me. Please. Peace. He sleeps. I just, I don't know if I can do this anymore. Peace be still. There's a story in the Bible where Jesus and his disciples are on a boat. And a furious storm hits the sea and everyone thinks they're going to die. Where do you think Jesus is? 
rowing alongside them? No. He's asleep in the back of the boat. So his disciples are freaking out and wake him up and they say, don't you care if we drown? So Jesus gets up and he says to the storm, quiet, be still. And the sea becomes completely calm. Then he asks his disciples why they are so scared and if they have any faith at all. Like he was frustrated with them. Because even though Jesus said, let's go to the other side of the lake, his disciples thought he was going to just let them die. you guys can grab one more item from your road trip bag. And it's my turn to be the king. Uh. Oh, Elijah, it's okay. You were a very good, noble, just, and true king. Is it guiding me over here? I will Jesus even care? Will he weep for him as he did for Lazarus? Will he weep for me? I think greater than my fear of death is that of insignificance. Or rather, my default assumption is that my thoughts and passions and loves and the stuff of my being are insignificant. How could the creator of all that is and ever was love my son? as he did Lazarus. And could my soul stranded on this blue raft awash in a sea of stars, ice, and dust matter enough to him to turn his hand in mercy? Five minutes later, he raised Lazarus from the dead. and we both end up in the same place. We always do. It just scares me every time. Sorry, I just really I believe he'll be me. healed. 
I, I know you believe too. Just when you act like that, I get all unsure. I don't know that. What do you mean? I just hope that. I don't know. It is an emotional roller coaster. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm a little speechless. The temple of God. Listen to Coco Melon. It's a slow walk. Slow walk, man. Too much anxiety for this. Oh. It's a little creepy. Ah. Uh, we'll keep putting my candles out. I want to get smacked. <laughs> Picnic at the edge of the world. So here we are. And the air is emptier without his laugh, and yet our hearts are still full, though with a different drink. And this ride we've been on for so long is silent. So also the Lord. And so we sit here in this new silence, and long for the music to start again, and for the disc to spin again, even if it means going round and round for many more years. For at least we would be moving and Joel would be laughing here on earth and not only in heaven. But in this space, I sense his silence is only because he is drawing his breath. And now we know love and longing, empty and full, all in one moment. And I am grateful that we loved him well and that we miss him well. And I hope that in the Lord's next breath, he will whisper his love song to you, his beloved.
and that you will know him differently and more deeply. But now, we grieve in silence, yet not without his presence. Supposed to be like heaven for him as he's passed away to cancer. Beautiful. Oh boy. Thank you for playing. Wow. From Joel Evan Green. For Joel Evan Green. January 12, 2009. March 13, 2014. And the Game Production. association with oh yeah Told myself I wouldn't cry.
I told myself, I told myself I wouldn't cry, man. I told myself I wouldn't cry. But I folded. I folded. <laughs> I folded. <laughs> ah. Wow. Wow. Oh, man. I cried. You know, I think cancer is like one of the worst things, but it's also one of the most, I don't mean to say it like this, but it's also like one of the most beautiful ways, things. And the reason I say that is because, like, I just, like, much as this sucks, when you get sick, at least, like, you know, At least, like, you know, you're, you're, I can't, I can't even talk. At least, like, you know, your time, your time is coming. You get what I'm trying to say? Cancer sucks, man. It just, it sucks. And, uh, I really wish this upon nobody. Like, I genuinely don't wish can cancer upon anybody and I wish there was a cure for it it sucks because there's so many types of cancer and there's like so much uh, I don't know where I'm going with this but uh, listen um, condolences to anybody that has passed away from cancer or has had cancer and I genuinely wish things would be a different outcome but this is life um, perish appreciate your loved ones, your friends, your family, um, your parents. Appreciate those who you love. Because you never know when that time is coming. <sighs> well, uh, thank y'all for joining me on this journey. Um, thank y'all for watching me play this game. Like I said, I just wanted to come out here, check it out. Beautiful game. Beautiful game. Um, thank you. Just thank, thank you. Uh, I hope you are doing good. You are taking care. And, uh, yeah. Thank y'all for watching. <sighs> With that being said, I love y'all. Take care of yourselves, and um, I will see you all uh, tomorrow. Sorry for crying. I, I, I told myself I can't cry, but in the end, I did feel something. So, <sighs> thank you for watching. I love you, and take care.
goodbye.